Welcome to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, the Millionaire Imprint for Women. I'm with my beautiful co-host, Ahana, from Rise and Be Rich. Welcome to the show, Ahana. Thank you. Lovely to be here. It's great to be here with you today because we're going to be talking about how to create premium coaching packages and... um, how to do this in today's market. So this is a really, really important topic for all those entrepreneurs out there. Let me tell everybody a little bit about the background, the show notes of what you prepared for us today. So we're talking about creating a premium coaching package, um, coaching business mastermind. Whether you're a personal coach, a career coach, or an executive coach, health wellness coach, or a business coach, how do you grow your coaching business in 2020 and beyond? How do you scale or add six figures to your business and ensure that you attract high paying clients? Today, that's what we're going to explore, how to create your premium code coaching package in a mini mastermind with Ahana from Rise and Be Rich Coaching and Rise Marketing Services. In today's episode, we will, we will cover four specific topics. Is there a market for premium packages at this time? What are the success strategies for coaching businesses available for us today? How to market and promote your premium coaching packages? And what are steps for you to get started in the next 24 to 48 hours? There are so many programs out there in today's market that ask you to create and start marketing online short course or pivot your promoting to low cost products and programs. With the change in our economy, is there a market for premium or high value, high paying coaching clients? That's what we're talking about right now. And Ahana, so this is the perfect uh, opportunity for me to ask you the first question. Why should you build premium coaching packages instead of short, low cost online courses and programs? Well, you know, as you as you know, and you can probably see in your Facebook newsfeed, um, everyone is creating short courses right now. So you, you look at all the promotions that's coming out. Everybody's got a course out there. And they're putting out ads to bring you back to the course. Uh, it's it's all about, you know, uh, how do I create a short course, launch it? It, it? The whole material is around that. And yes, there is some merit in creating a short course. But if you're in coaching, consulting, uh, and service-based businesses, there are a few things you have to keep in mind. The, the first thing is that the needs of the market, that it's changing. So people are looking at different areas of transformation. The, actually, if you start looking at the market research, the, the trends are changing. And customers are at different stages of their life journey. There are certain areas which there is a great need. Some are still looking for a quick fix, sure, but most of them right now are looking for something deeper, taking a deeper dive or a deeper transformation, whether it's in relationship, career, money, business, but they're actually looking for a complete solution or a deeper solution. And they also realize that the the same things that they knew before, that's not working anymore. So there is actually a growth for trainers, coaches, and consultants. However, the the trick is, you know, when you launch either, you know, whatever course that you're launching or a a premium package you're launching without uh, customer confidence, trust, and authority in the market it is actually difficult to sway people to work with you. So that is why I wanted to switch the thinking when it comes to you know launching a quick versus launching a quick service or a quick course, because the attention span of the customer right now is very very small. It's very short, and they're distracted very very easily, and they want a deep transformation. And they want big changes in their life. So it's, it's kind of a very interesting space that we are at. And they will pay actually once they know you, they trust you. And they will work with you once they have that, that trust. They will they'll put the money up because they want that deep transformation. So 
what you really should be focusing on is actually building that authority, trust, confidence around you. And this is why, you know, a lot of lot of clients that we are working with are now doing their authority building programs or social media or high growth programs or their business structuring. So because when you spend, you're spending this time on this, this authority building just takes two to three months to anchor yourself in the market. And once you've done that, selling you know a, a course with a bigger result actually makes more sense because if there are you know a thousand people in the market selling those little tiny you know products there is you know even if you build that trust in the market that's going to be a little tiny result for you so bottom line right now spending time on trust uh, spending time on building authority and then launching a product that really makes a difference in the life of the client so deeper transformation that is possibly one of the best things you can do at this time. Building trust. I just uh, worked with uh, a client the other day that I had been uh, nurturing this relationship for a year Yeah. and um, building that trust. So I understand what you mean. It was, a, it was, it was just the right time and it was, you know, perfect, but it definitely took a while to, uh, nurture the relationship and I think that we're all yearning for who can we trust and yeah. who can we um, you know and and the clients are looking for that and our colleagues you know our, our yes, peers uh, are looking for it and and that little online course that people are doing and putting out that does not really build trust it's it's a quick you know you you might get a quick result from it but it's not long term. It's not going to serve your business because you know people. Are, there's so much competition out there right now. That's true. Yeah. So it's definitely not going to. It's it's not going to bring you something that's sustainable. And that that's what we're building right now in this new market moving forward. We're building sustainable yeah. foundations, right? And yeah. um, building relationships, relationship building. So. Uh, building trust, earning trust, establishing trust and establishing authority is what you're talking about. Yes, it is. I think that's the number one key right now. And as we, you know, uh, go through some of the other um, topics in this episode, I'll, you know, this is the most important thing you can do right now, which is building an authority in, in the market. Because if you see who is really, um, at the end of the day, who's, who's getting the results, it's not happening because of the product. It's actually happening because of the authority. So uh, bring, bringing out tons and tons of courses and little courses, that you know it doesn't take long to bring out a course. I mean, we've done a we've done short courses in a in a span of like 48 hours, but it's it's not about that. It's about actually building a connection with the client and to serve the client through their you know cycles because they will go through their own cycles in, in, in their journey. So serving them through all of those different cycles and having a long-term client versus versus a short term, short attention, just let me take a course and see what what this is kind of a client. Yes, I love that. I love that. So I know that, you know, many people are faced, many entrepreneurs are faced with challenges, but what's one of the top challenges that entrepreneurs are faced with that's preventing them from uh, earning what they want? Um, actually, what's really happening right now, because things are changing. So there isn't enough data to indicate exactly what we should do with our business, what, you know, so the data is coming out a little at a time. So the clarity in terms of direction and pivoting your offers, that's kind of still uh, up in the air for a lot of people. And marketing is shifting as well. So once you've even shifted your offer, what are some of the marketing methods that will work for you at, at this time? So there is a lack of clarity, but by the biggest one uh, at this time is that there is so much noise in the market there's just so many people pitching, you know, there's all this stuff happening in the market. It's really difficult to build that anchor, build that authority and draw in the client. So you have to become an anchor where, you know, you are pulling in the leads. And that is the most difficult thing to do right now because of this noise in the market. And so I think what's playing against a lot of coaches is this, uh, you know, imbalance between clarity of how to, uh, pivot and move forward and then uh, this noise in the market how to really anchor yourself there get visibility trust engagement and uh, attract the right leads to you 
Yes, yeah, so I like that. I like anchoring. I like building trust. And um, the other thing I find is consistency, being consistent being consistent with your marketing with your you know how you're showing up where people see you all the time where they see you because you're consistent would you agree with that no absolutely i mean that's really part of building authority consistency is i mean consistency in content marketing right now is essential but it's all part of that strategy of how do i position and get you know build that uh, go to expert kind of a um, space for myself, carve that out in, in my niche. So it is absolutely important, but it's part of that bigger strategy of anchoring yourself in the market. Yeah, I like anchoring in the market. Why don't we uh, take our first break? And then when we come back, we're going to talk about success strategies for our coaching business. We'll be right back. Thanks for listening and tuning in. I'm with Rise and Be Rich, Ahana, and we're talking about success strategies for our coaching businesses. Ahana, tell us how can we make sure that the premium pricing packages that people put on their programs to work, how can people make sure that the coaching packages sell? So, you know, we were talking about those, uh, you know, the fact that a lot of people are bringing out these short courses and the reason why I think it's important to understand the reason to create a premium coaching package is because you want to move out of the same, same market. You know, like uh, I was mentioning, if there are a thousand people who are creating and selling a short course, um, which program are you going to choose and why? So it becomes... Like there are all this, that's the same, same. So many people are set, putting it out. So if you're an owner of that course, you're putting yourself out there with a lot of competition and you're at this time, you have to create something far superior in that short course in order for you to stand out. So just wanted to make sure that why we are talking about creating premium packages is because it's, uh, it brings a, brings a significant life change in your client. The second thing is that there are no self-imposed ceilings uh, to what you can earn. There are no, there's no competition out there. You immediately, you, you separate yourself from what's happening in the market and you're not competing constantly with all of those thousands and thousands of people who are bringing out these little tiny short courses. So once we establish that, then we have to understand that a premium coaching package has to be positions it, it your business has to be positioned for a premium packaging you know a coaching and here's the thing if your program is a general one if you're not clear what the package does or the program does what benefits it gives your clients you're not targeted and niched in promoting your offers chances are your marketing won't work so when we talk about launching a signature series with premium packages or premium programs we call them signature series we are always talking about choosing a niche first, building massive authority in that niche, what I call niche domination. We do a lot of um, workshops around niche domination. Then we're building a tribe around in that niche. So these are people who are following you and the conversion from that group becomes very, very easy when it comes to a premium offer. So if you have done your research with regards to your target market and the needs at this time, if you've niched your funnel, if you need, you've positioned yourself right, and then you niched your funnel to meet all the different needs of your uh, potential target customer so that they can come through the funnel all the way to your premium package, you build authority and trust in that niche, your premium package is absolutely going to sell. So this is what a lot of uh, on, you know, sort of top entrepreneurs have been doing. They've been creating that container, that that authority, and at that you know when a person really needs something, they're going to just take their premium coaching package, and they've separated themselves from everybody else in the market by doing this. So that's that's how your premium package is absolutely going to sell. So I'm curious, you know, what do you define a premium package to be? Is that, are we looking at 10K and plus? We, uh, anything that's above uh, three to 5K. 
so it could be a package it could be like we've, we've sold packages which are you know uh five thousand dollars ten thousand dollars twenty four thousand dollars a lot of you know sort of larger packages but they all have incredible value you have to put incredible value in that package so there has to be a very deep transformation uh that's what i mean by a premium package yeah and you know everybody has a different definition of what the, you know the value is of yes. premium and then even you know what the price tag is for that and i know that a lot of um coaches especially when they're coming from a place of wanting to sell a lower uh you know cost product um they're not a lot of people are not charging enough for their services as well you know um mm -hmm. so there's there's that that's why i asked you what's your definition of the um the premium and so you you explained it because you said it's anywhere between five and ten and up yeah and and you have to understand that a lot of people they try when you say a premium package, you have to, anything, everything is an exchange of value. So if you cannot give somebody a massive transformation, you can't really create a premium package out of it. So there's, there's also that component where a lot of people say, okay, you know, I'm going to do this and then just price it high. That doesn't work either. You, the exchange has to be of that equal, you know, the, the value has to be of equal nature. Uh, that you create in the life of a client. Yeah, um, then I mean, bottom line for the, the premium coaching package, it has to have massive value. Yeah, it has to have transformation. Yeah, it is. It should. It can't just be theory or knowledge. It has to be transformative. Yeah, yeah, good. How can um, you make sure that the premium pricing that you put on the programs to work, how can you make sure that the coaching packages sell? Um, you know, we just, just talked about, you know, how, how we are positioning it. So the, the thing that um, you have to understand is we, we do a process called niche domination. Um, and I just want to explain that a little bit because I think a lot of people don't understand when I say a niche domination, what, what it means. But if you want to speed up growth in your business, you know, the, the fastest way to do that is to choose a niche is to position yourself as an expert in that niche. And you, uh, once you position yourself as an expert, a thought leader, uh, somebody who's, you know, making that transformation in the market and you create authority through your content marketing, it is easy to launch a product because not only the uh, customers of the target market want to work with you, but also people like in joint venture partnerships, they want to work with you. So that is the idea of creating, a, you know, or dominating a niche. But most people, would, uh, they get the formula wrong or they try to do one part of the formula and they don't see results. So how many people do you know who spend so much time trying to brand their products and work on their social media and then they get, you know, tiny wins. So I've, I've worked with clients who have moved from, you know, one of my programs to another program because I created that container. So they stay with me for three, four, five years. I've got clients who just keep repeating and buying the next package or something else or working in collaboration with me on something else. So I've had clients who've been with me for four, five, six years and they're still working with me. So it took me a lot of struggle to actually try to understand, um, you know, uh, to, to try trying out all these different kinds of marketing tactics and failing to then figure out, hmm, this is not the way to work. And I remember I, I started working with a mentor who, really told me at, at, at that time that, that you know just stop doing everything else that you're doing reposition your business and build a premium product and I remember that we rebranded it we chose a niche we built a premium product in it we relaunched it we changed all we optimized all our profiles we started branding it differently we started putting out content marketing just a couple of weeks two three weeks down the line I closed a $12,000 package on a 45 minute call and I had moved from like doing a $400 package to actually repositioning myself and we sold. And this was on, on a cold call, somebody who came through my content straight into my appointment call and we closed a $12,000 package. So biggest lesson so far, I've always, and I've always been indebted to my mentor for showing me that, you know, don't try a whole bunch of different things. Try to just niche yourself 
position yourself as an expert, build that authority, and then you can, you know, you can create, you can create that trust to bring these people into these high paying packages where you can provide them the maximum transformation. So Cornelia, I also, you know, what I've done is for niche domination, there are five steps, but I can't go through it here. It'll take some time. So I've put that in a little video and that's one of the things that I'm giving away in today's, uh, uh, you know, link with them for the masterclass. So they can go and take a look at it, the exact five steps for the niche domination process. Do you want me to give you the link for it right now or? Uh, no, don't give us the link for it right now because we we can't do anything with it right now because it's in the, is, is the link in the show notes. Do we have the link already? Yes, we, we do have the show notes. Links. Okay, great. And we'll we'll add it into the YouTube description and we'll be Sounds able good. to do yeah. whatever. And, and for those of you that are going to listen to this podcast on YouTube, the link for the niche domination is going to be in the description. So yeah. you'll be able to track back because I highly recommend that you sit down and really look at how you want to move forward, especially, you know, looking at 2020, uh, 2021, 2022, you know, I look at, I'm looking at this as this cluster of a huge change for us and how we live and how we, how we're doing business. And so looking at a bigger picture and sitting down with this call and take notes and then even um you know give ahana and daniel a call set up a discovery call with them so that you can see you know how you can really make um the money that you want to make in your business and also serve your clients to the best of your ability that you're positioned right i mean it's a huge piece it is the biggest piece. It is the biggest piece. That solves all problems. Once you're positioned right and uh, you have a tribe, it solves most of your problems of leads and clients. Yes. Yeah, definitely. So I like that you laid it out with establishing authority, establishing trust, building trust, and, um, you know, and then being clear, you know, with nope, I'm not going to do a small package. I'm going to do a premium package. It's, it is creating transformation, getting, being really clear about that and then dominating the niche. Now it's interesting, uh, niche domination. It's not something, a word that I've heard. Is this something you made up or? Well, for me, if you like a lot of people say, you know, you dominate the market and you do this and that for me, it's, I have always struggled with, you know, when people come to me for as clients, I always struggle with the clarity. I, I you know, where the biggest difference uh, you can make as a coach for me has been to get them really clear about who they are serving, what is the best transformation they can give, and then position them right. And very few people, you know teach that everybody's talking about you know how do I put a you know 10 step to do a course 10 step to write a course here's my marketing strategy here's you know what you should do on social media but most people don't understand that that is the key it took like I mentioned it you know took me from selling $400 courses to 12,000 I've, I've closed completely black like blind let me somebody's coming in through content and I've so, sold uh, annual packages, $36,000, $50,000 on a call because of what, uh, how I've positioned myself in the market and they came through referrals. So a lot of the uh, big packages also come through referrals. It's by, you know, word of mouth that somebody knows you, somebody's worked with you, somebody's looked at your content for a long time. <clears throat> so this whole, um, this area, very few people actually tweak their business for this. I and mean, this is the foundation. The moment you do this, and that's why I call it niche domination, because you know, once you know how to do that, build that authority, if you look at anybody in the market right now, why would you buy a program from someone versus someone else? Somebody you don't know to someone you know, is because they've created that authority in their niche in the market. So there are several uh, influencers within that niche in that market. So that's what they have done. So that's the, that is really the key. That's, that's why I call it that because it's easier to sort of show the steps <laughs> rather than, you know, 
um, it does it, you know, it is market authority, but it's easier to show the steps in terms of positioning yourself within yeah. a specific niche in the market. I like it. I like it. I haven't heard of that term. So that's why I was wanting to clarify that. So why don't we take a uh, break? And when we come back, we're going to go into a deeper dive into marketing and sales when we'll be when we are coming back. Okay, we'll be right back. Welcome back, Ahana. So now that we're going to dive deeper into marketing and sales how do you promote premium packages in this tough market and what has changed in marketing and sales that we should know about well what has changed is the noise the the volume has just gone up you know there's so much noise in the market there's just so much happening um also because you know people are uh they are in reflective mode. I think a lot of people are in that space where they are confused. They don't know really which direction to go. So that that's definitely happening in the market. But the, if you look at the number of ads coming out, number of pitches, that's just gone, you know, it's just gone high. So what I usually do is I always take the two, a two part, very simple. Everything about us is we, we simplify the process because that's the, you know, we are, we have a lean team and usually they're solo entrepreneurs and small business owners of a small team. So we try to simplify it. So the way we work it is that there's two parts of that strategy. One is all about attracting leads to your website, your landing pages, your offer. So that's your inbound or attraction marketing. We work a lot with that. And then uh, along with that, we also network consistently, and that's virtually, uh, and we call that process social selling. So that's your outreach strategy. So one is an inbound and what, one is an outreach. But within that, you know, you were talking, Cornelia, earlier about consistency. So within that inbound, right, both, both are important. You've got to do both parts. But within the inbound, there is a long-term consistent content marketing strategy, which is where you do your videos, your blogs, your social media, and all of that you have to do consistently. So we work with a content calendar with all our clients to make sure that they, you know, just I'll give you an example. This uh, lady that we're working with right now, she just started working with us for um, a month. This is a third week working with us and she's been putting out content consistently along with our team. And she's already just been invited to a, a, a big seminar with 40 other speakers. So this is the power of doing long-term consistent content marketing strategy. And along with that, you do your short-term marketing campaigns. So your marketing campaigns are little um, bursts, like little um, sort of campaigns that you do to pull in larger number of people within your list, your community, your funnels. So as coaches, as solo entrepreneurs and small business owners, we have this exact same number of channels and the exact same opportunity as any big company to attract leads and grow our network, to convert high quality qualified leads into our clients. But what we don't have as small business owners, what I see over and over again, number one is clarity, number two is strategy, number three is a team, a team to implement these strategies, track and measure results, and then keep sharpening it till, it, you, know, till you actually get tangible results. So, when you what why we are talking about all this niche domination funnel in this you know today's episode is when you start building your positioning yourself in that niche and starting to build content remember that inbound outbound and within inbound there's long-term content and the short-term marketing strategy what ends up happening is the moment you niche your half of your work gets kind of easier because now you know the direction you have absolute clarity and so the strategies that we can use with you then start making sense a lot more sense you can do things a, a lot faster and then building the team you, i absolutely believe like and i have done this as i grew i had to start building a remote team and i had to start working with other service providers to help me manage this and a lot of people uh think that okay even if i put out a certain amount of money in order to do this that's a money i'm putting out but actually it has the biggest return on your investment so that's something that always keep in mind that growing a team is essential if you want to grow even as a one person you know business uh it is important to grow so having this if you can get these pieces right your marketing is going to work 
So this is this is what I say, you know, so get both parts right, the inbound and the outbound, get your clarity strategy, and then start working with somebody who can help you with the team or help you build a team in order to grow your business. Yes, good. What about uh, long-term strategies? What strategies do you suggest for long-term success mm -hmm. in business coaching? So long-term is, so the way we look at leads coming in, right? Uh, when you are doing a long-term strategy, your strategy is basically content marketing. So content marketing includes both organic and paid. So we do a lot of, we do paid um, marketing as well. We do Facebook ads, but we do it very strategically. So we are not just pulling out, you know, thousands of dollars on Facebook ad and not getting a result. We only, so the trick here is we, on, we first understand what our audience is and we only retarget the people who are interested in our work. So to, it, that's a process. That's a process that you need to do for your long-term marketing strategy. But when we're talking long-term, we are talking about people who are just coming through, like for example, last, uh, last week, we had all these videos out and we were doing these podcasts and we were talk, doing the interviews. And so I can see my list being built consistently. And then from that, that takes them through a funnel because niche domination is all about funnel. If you think in terms of a funnel, so you're taking them to different parts of the journey all the way to your big offer. So I can see that I can track that entire process. So that's your long term. And then the short term is when you do like, for example, a virtual event or you go and speak somewhere and you get a burst of clients, yeah, sorry, burst of le leads into your list. So that's your short term campaigns that you can plan out along with you know, whosoever you're strategizing with, whosoever is working with you on your marketing strategy. So that's what I mean by long-term is having that consistency in terms of month by month, creating that content calendar, knowing what to post, where to post, how to post, what kind of videos work, tracking it, managing it, um, amplifying the ones that are, you know, doing well for you, the posts that are doing well for you. So you need to work with the team to do that. By yourself, it actually gets quite overwhelming. So that's why I was saying that you always have at least one person in your team helping you do that. Yeah, because as I'm listening, you know, and I know because I, I work with it myself and I, I don't know where I would be without my team. I wouldn't be yeah. uh, just, you know, one person doing all of this. It, um, you know, it's very overwhelming. So having, having a team in place is huge and it's definitely worth the investment to you know put put it out like you said have, yeah. have that invest in your team because it really helps you to continue to be able to bring great content out for your audience and, and strategic content i mean when we do content calendars we always do the content calendars with the clients just slightly before the end of the month because we need time to create the content as well for them, everything from video scripts to post to you know anything that you can possibly think of, but we plan it in a way we know exactly which direction the client wants to go. So it's really every piece of content that's created, it can be used over and over again. So it's it can be repurposed, it can be put in different ways. So it becomes really easy then to market with that content, but planning that is key. So even if you've got nobody in your team right now, you're trying to do all of this by yourself, at least if nothing, create a content calendar you know, before every month, coming month. So at least do it 10 to 15 days before and then fill it up uh, strategically instead of randomly getting up in the morning and posting something on social media. I think that just, just having that little shift is gonna create massive change in your business. Yeah. And just being organized, you know, being organized like that, it's empowering to know it's like something that's, that's in the back of your mind, but when you have it planned out and you're planning it and it, it, it just becomes easier that way too. And um, it makes you feel more organized, more empowered in your business. And it does so many wonderful things by um, mm -hmm. building your authority, establishing trust on a consistent basis out there in the market. So, uh, Ahana, let's take our last break. And when we come back, we'll wrap up the show and we'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, everyone. 
we're wrapping up our show with, you know, scaling your business and building a successful premium co coaching package. How can you start building premium coaching packages to scale our coaching business? That's the question. Well, uh, okay, there's two parts that I want to, you know, uh, touch upon. One is if you're a coach or a consultant, you're doing a service-based business, but you've got a coaching component to it. Always think long-term sustainability for your business. And this is one of the questions that was asked last, uh, whole of last week, we've been talking to a lot of different coaches at different forums. And, you know, this was a uh, question that they asked, like, you know, if I just do one premium coaching package, or if I do a short course, if I do one on one, what's the long term uh, sustainable, you know, uh, model for my coaching business. So the first thing that you need to think of is, uh, and this is a simple way I remember it for myself, you, you know, it's just my little crazy way of remembering that a business should always have an active component, a passive component and a massive. So the massive is your premium coaching package, but don't forget the active and the passive. So the active is uh, something that, you know, uh, at, even at this time, I had a VIP day. I think it was uh, a week before last that I had, you know, a couple of VIP days. So that takes care of the active components. It was three hours. Uh, one was three hours. One was, you know, four hours. So that's, that's the active component, I'm doing one-on-one. -on -one. And then the passive is something that has sustained me. So this year during the COVID, one of the reasons why I was able to pull back on my coaching packages and just wait to see you know, how to readjust in the market is because my passive was working. My passive was bringing in you know, monthly income every month. So you're, you need to have that passive built out. And then you look at your premium coaching packages because you've already positioned yourself in the market. You're already getting these two streams of income and that's where you can scale. So when you're looking at the premium package, you can scale, you can scale to six figures, higher six figures, seven figures with a premium coaching package. So uh, when uh, you know, you're going out into the market and you're trying to build what we call a signature course or funnel, First of all, you're all, you already should be niched and you're active and your passive should be working. So this is what we built into the business as, as we go along and we work with our clients. And then you, you can very clearly, if you are very clear about your niche, you can very easily actually build out the overview of your entire signature, uh, signature funnel in a matter of hours. It does not, if you have the data, if you understand your audience and what they need, you can build that out. So if you know your niche domination, you've, you've got all your notes done, you can build it up in two to three hours. And I had a client who, you know, um, had completed the, the kind of the overview of her high ticket, low ticket, upsell, downsell. We did all of that, including the freebie in half a day. So we write out these courses. So we're doing the overviews. We write out these courses for our clients. Sometimes even within two to three weeks, we can complete these courses. So it's not difficult to do the courses or write out the courses or record and edit them. That's not the important part. The important part is to, to know what's your funnel in the market. And that's the part that you need to build up first. So do the overview. And then we suggest that take the overview and you create the marketing and promotion around it and do a beta test launch. Then once you get your bit, uh, you know, your first group of people doing your beta testing, that's when you create the full product. And we have that process that we take them from niche to market research, to branding, positioning, building authority, then list build, then building influence, and then launching the beta product. And people can do this, actually start getting beta testing clients within two to three months. They, you will already be making money through your premium packages. And once you've got that, you know that this thing works, then amplify it. Amplify it with joint ventures, amplify it with affiliation, amplify it with your marketing campaigns. But that testing process of that 90 days, around the 90 days time frame, will give you, you know, that's, you know, you're asking how quickly we can launch it and how, you know, we can get this out there. That's how, how long it takes for you to get one cycle going with your beta test, you're still earning money through all of this. 
And so that helps you determine how many clients am I going to take? How many campaigns am I going to make? So you, it actually determines your entire marketing uh, budget and your marketing plan. So the easiest way for um, somebody to think when they're looking at the coaching business, hey, I need to have an active component. I need to have a passive component. I need to have a premium package. And then within the premium package, let me take a 90, 90, so three to four months to launch that package in a way that I know that that works, that has value, that has uh, marketability, uh, people really get benefits out of it, and then I amplify it. So I don't know if that answered what you were, you were tr trying to accomplish with that question. Yes, absolutely. Do you want to share with the audience now the link? Do you have a link for people to contact okay. you and also your website information again? So that everyone can um, take a look at what you guys are offering there? Yeah, I think the best thing for that I could do right now is, is give you the niche domination. We have a little uh, video out there. So uh, my website is www.ahanalara, that's A-H-A-N-A-L-A-R-A.com forward slash niche masterclass, N-I-C-H-E masterclass. If you type that in, what it'll do is it'll give you a how to create a high paying package. So there's a guide. I think Daniel's also added the top 100 niche for wellness coaches and uh, you know service business owners. So there should be top 100 niche, uh, the, the documents as well. But it gives you a little 10 to 12 minute video on all the five steps. And if you want to take a deeper dive after that, there's, there's an opportunity for you to do that there as well. But it will give you the five steps, which is key right now in order for you to start building up your coaching package. So that's www.ahanalara.com forward slash niche masterclass. Wonderful. Wow. What a power packed class today, call today. Excellent information on you know, building your business and getting your premium packages, you know, created and launched with a way where you can build your relationships. We, um, we love everything that you shared. Do you have anything else that you want to say in the last few minutes, Ahana? Just that I know that we, there's so many uh, people out there, so many entrepreneurs who have a coaching practice, who have a therapy practice, and they've, you know, spent years learning their craft and, you know, spending, they've spent a lot of time, uh, you know, in, in their modality, and they can do amazing work right now for people. People do need help. I mean, coaching and training is going to be huge. So get the fundamentals right. Don't just try to do something and get get your you know message out there spend at least you know the next three months the end of this year plan for your you know december launch because by the time you you come around to the next year if you plan the next three months right your you'll have a full coaching practice so that's what you should plan for a nice you know six figure high six figure jump in your coaching pra practice going especially through this december you know, to the new year cycle. Why do you, why do you say that coaching um, coaching is coaching is going to be huge? Coaching and I think people need a lot of tra training and coaching right now because everything is changing. I mean, even a shift from you know people working from home, the different the stress levels have changed. Relationships have you know have changed. There's a lot of uh, I mean, even for our business coaches, you know, the work that we are doing, the need of the market has changed and the pace has changed. So if I have done and I've done all the research over the last six to eight months and put this into place, now it's time for, you know, other people to take that and work with it because I've already turned my business around. So I can see what's working and what's not working. And that's really, you know, what a lot of other people people need to get their businesses right. And so there's a huge need right now for coaches and consultants. Wonderful. Thank you, Ahana Lara. Please give our love to Daniel. Thanks everybody for listening and tuning in. We'll see you next time.